the Lewis blood group system. Our objectives. You should be able to describe the formation and secretion of Lewis antigens and their absorption onto the red blood cells. Discuss inheritance of the Lewis genes and their interactions with other blood group genes. List substances present in secretions and the Lewis phenotype based on a given genotype. Describe the chromosome location of the Lewis gene. Define the role of secretor genes in the formation of the Lewis antigen. More objectives include being able to describe the process of development of the Lewis antigens after birth, describe the changes in the Lewis phenotype during pregnancy, list the characteristics of Lewis antigens and antibodies, and discuss the clinical significance of Lewis antibodies. The Lewis antigens, Lewis A and B, are unique in the way that they are inherited and manufactured. The antigens are manufactured by tissue cells and secreted into body fluids. The antigens then absorb onto the surface of the red blood cells without becoming an integral part of the membrane. The alleles are capital LE and lowercase LE. The production of antigen depends on the inheritance of not only the Lewis genes, but also the secretor gene. The genetics of the Lewis system are different. There is not a Lewis A and a Lewis B gene. Lewis and secretor genes code for l fucosal transferase, which adds fucose to the precursor type 1 gene. Uh, sorry, the type 1 chain. It is the H gene that codes for l fucosal transferase, which adds fucose to the precursor type 2 chains. So here are the phenotypes of the Lewis system and their percentages in the Caucasian and Black populations. The Lewis A positive B negative phenotype is found in 22% of Caucasians and 23% of Blacks. The Lewis A negative and B positive is found in 72% of Caucasians and 55% of Blacks. The Lewis A negative B negative is found in 6% of Caucasians and 22% of Blacks. The Lewis A positive B positive phenotype is only found rarely. The Lewis and secretor genes are located on chromosome 19. The soluble Lewis antigens are glycoproteins, while Lewis cell-bound antigens are glycolipids. We are going to talk about the genetics that generate each phenotype. The Lewis A positive B negative phenotype is produced when Lewis A substance is secreted, regardless of secretor status. So if you have a capital LE gene and you, you can make a Lewis A antigens and they will be in your secretions. All Lewis A positive B negative phenotypes are non secretors of ABH substances. The Lewis A negative B positive phenotype is produced when you have both the capital LE and the capital SE genes. People with the phenotype Lewis A negative B positive are secretors. The secretor ABO, H, and Lewis genes are intimately associated with the formation of the Lewis B antigens. So if you know that a person's Lewis phenotype is Lewis A negative, B positive, you know they are a secretor. The secretions will have both Lewis A and Lewis B substances. The most common Lewis phenotype is Lewis A negative, B positive. It is important to remember that unlike the ABO alleles, Lewis A and Lewis B are not alleles. The red cells Antigenic expression is minimal at birth, so the antigens have not been produced and absorbed to the red cells. This means that the infants will type as Lewis A negative, B negative, regardless of the genes inherited. It takes six to seven months for them to be developed. Other causes of decreased expression of Lewis antigens are pregnancy, patients with cancer, alcoholic cirrhosis, and viral and parasitic infections. Some pregnant women who are temporarily Lewis A negative, B negative, will develop antibodies to the Lewis antigen. These do not harm the fetus because the fetus does not have antigens. The Lewis A negative, B negative genotype is homozygous for the lowercase LE gene. This gene arises from a mutation of the capital Lewis gene. This type is much more common in the black population. This chart shows you the interactions of the genes and the expressions, both in antigen production, in secretions, and on red blood cells. The first line shows someone who inherited the capital 
Lewis and secretor genes, and normal ABH genes. The person would have both Lewis A and B, as well as A, B, and H in secretions. The red cells would have A, B, and H, as well as Lewis B, but not Lewis A. If a person does not inherit the capital LE, but does inherit the capital SE, A, B, H, then they would have A, B, and H in secretions and on red blood cells, and no Lewis antigens at all. If someone inherits a capital LE and lowercase SE, ABH, they would have a Lewis A antigens and secretions, but no AB and H. They would have AB and H and Lewis A antigens on the red blood cells. If the person is homozygous for lowercase LE and lowercase SE, they would have no antigens and secretions. They would have A, B, and H antigens on their red blood cells, but no Lewis antigens. The last row shows someone with the Bombay phenotype and a capital LE gene, lowercase se gene, and normal A and B genes. They would produce Lewis A antigens and secretions and on red blood cells. They would not have A or B antigens and secretions since they don't have the capital SE gene and they can't produce A and B antigens on the red blood cells because they don't have the capital H gene. Antibodies to the Lewis system are frequently detected in the antibody screens and are produced by Lewis A negative B negative individuals. These are usually naturally occurring IgM antibodies and are frequently found in the plasma of pregnant women. These do not cross the placenta and they do not cause hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn. They can activate, complement, and occasionally cause in vitro and in vivo hemolysis. Remember, in vitro means in the lab or outside the body, and in vivo means inside the body. The Lewis antibodies are more reactive with enzyme-treated cells and more reactive with type O cells than type A and B. The anti-Lewis A and anti-Lewis B can occur together and can be neutralized by Lewis substances present in plasma or cell. Anti-Lewis A is common. It is often IgM, binds complement, and can cause hemolysis. Some may be IgG. These IgG antibodies are frequently detected with saline suspended cells at room temperature, but react to 37 and anti-human globulin phases. Rarely, they can cause hemolytic transfusion reactions. We should use cross-match compatible cells for transfusion. Anti-Lewis B is not as common as anti-Lewis A. It is usually IgM and does not fix complement. It is usually produced by Lewis A negative, B negative individuals. Occasionally, a Lewis A positive, B negative individual will produce anti-Lewis B. This would be unusual since they have the Lewis gene. Lewis antibodies are generally considered to be clinically significant and donor blood negative for the antigens should be selected. The unit should be compatible at 37 degrees Celsius AHG and there should be no hemolysis. Key things to remember about the Lewis system include Lewis antigens are not synthesized by the red blood cells. They are absorbed onto the membrane, which means they can come off. The capital LE gene codes for a fucosal transferase, which adds L-fucose to type 1 chains. The capital LE gene is needed for the expression of Lewis A. The capital LE and capital SE genes are needed to form the Lewis B antigen. The homozygous lowercase LE gene is more common in blacks resulting in a Lewis A-negative phenotype. Thank you for listening.